In this tutorial, we are going to calculate the appropriate damping ratio to design a steel or reinforcement concrete buildings. The damping ratio is the relationship between the damping coefficient and the critical damping, and is given by this equation, where C is the damping coefficient and CCR is the critical damping. The damping coefficient is a measure of how quickly the frictional force of a material or system after it has been displaced dissipates its oscillation energy, and the critical damping is the ideal or desirable state where the mass doesn't oscillate and the material or system return to the equilibrium in the shortest time possible. There are four damping states. In them, system where no friction force exists and the oscillation continues indefinitely. Under damp, system where the damping coefficient is less than the critical damping. Over damp is when the damping coefficient is greater than the critical damping and the critical damping that was defined before. The damping ratio in structures or buildings depends directly in its height. The Architectural Institute of Japan proposed a damping predictor highly accurate for the first mode of vibration of a structure with this equation, where F1 is the natural frequency in the first mode of vibration and is calculated for elastic range with this equation, where H is the height of the building and XH is the allowable story drift of the table 12.12 and dash 1 according with the American Society Civil Engine Standard, depending on the type and the risk category. That need to be the factor with this equation, where CD is the flexion amplification factor and IE is the importance factor. It's important note that the mutation of the drift ratio cannot be greater than 2.5 by the power of negative 5. In these tables are the values of the damping ratio for a steel special moment frame and a special enforced concrete moment frames for the different risk categories. Something that is really important to highlight is the values of the spectral response acceleration parameters at short and long period SS and S1 of the American Society's Civil Engine Standard are based on 5% of the critical damping. This means that it is necessary to calculate the proper values of the spectral response acceleration parameters SS and S1 for the damping ratios to work apple with apples. With this, conclude this tutorial.